In 2012, Sarah Brightman travelled to Star City near Moscow and Russia to begin a three-year training programme to become a cosmonaut so she could visit the International Space Station. She even worked with her former husband Andrew Lloyd Webber to create a song to sing in space. But in 2015, just four months before she was due to blast off in a Soyuz rocket, she called off her orbital ambitions. Sarah, you did stop for a bit when you went to train to be a cosmonaut, which was extraordinary. Was. And, and everyone was like, wow, this is incredible. You 16 hours a day training. Was it something that you had always been fascinated with? I think, you know, us growing through the, the 60s as children, and I watched the first man land on the moon on the, my TV set, and it was quite a pivotal time for me, actually, because I just realised, coming from a small market town outside of London, and life was very peaceful and easy and it had a structure, yes. seeing what human beings were capable of doing. And always, especially if you're, you're a musician in a way, the idea of the universe and the spaces and the stars and the planets is very romantic, it's very beautiful. So for anybody to actually have got there, it was... It was kind of unbelievable, but believable all at the same time. I started to work really hard after that. I started to think, I can do something special. I can make the most of, of, of myself. So it did, it did actually change me. And through my life, I'd always sort of been interested in, in space, but it was something so outside of a, an English girl's realm that you couldn't, yes. that what could I do it. with yeah. it? I could yeah. maybe go into being a scientist or whatever, or an engineer or whatever, but that wasn't my talent. So when the opportunity did come up, um, some people had been listening to me just talking about my interests and the ideas of space and whatever. They said, actually, you might be a really good candidate to be a tourist for space. I said, really, is there such a thing? And they went, yeah. well, yes. Why don't you start taking the test? So I thought, I went into it sort of seriously but half-heartedly because yeah. I thought there's no way I left school at 16 I would get through just the physical tests and then there's the math and all the things and actually I got through everything really really well wow. so I went to Russia yeah. Yeah. then they did more tests and I was coming out really really well and I they said actually you're an ideal person to to do this um, and the, the kind of actually the way that my life had been with all the heavy touring and yeah. Training us to be a ballerina was really, really tough. All the things I've been through, I sort of had worn the T-shirt in dealing with the, the toughness of it all. So... What stopped you? Because you did all the training. There are a combination of reasons that mm. came into play. And it was nothing really to do with, you know, how I'd been doing, because I'd been doing great. But I've signed all these NDAs and can't really talk oh, about dear. it. Oh, no. I know. Yes. So oh. it, it, it was hard, but mm. I understood kind of some of the reasons why. So I came out, and it was actually a family decision. I, I could have gone right. forward, but oh. I talked about it very closely with my family, and we just decided that actually the timing for lots of reasons wasn't quite right at that time.